Hello, I'm Mario, and today's video is about doing some work on my Chevy Colorado. Now, I use my Chevy Colorado full-time RVing on the road, and so I pull a, a travel trailer. And the work that I need to do is, well, it's around the leaf springs. So my rear axle has leaf springs, uh, typical for a lot of trucks. But I have a, a, a video where I, I did some work previously to the leaf springs. So these are not stock uh, leaf springs. I added two leaf springs to each side of the axle. So the, um, the stock leaf spring pack has an additional two leaf springs. The work that I did previously, it wasn't like they uh, totally ground up built a brand new leaf pack for me. And so I wanna keep what they have right now, what's going on, but so here's the issue. And I don't know exactly how to describe it other than there is a, um, a rebound clamp or a rebound shackle. So the issue that I'm having is a few weeks ago I noticed that this clamp had begun to fail on one of the leaf springs and so at any rate it's been getting worse. I've been keeping an eye on it but um, so that's what I want to address today is this uh, this clamp or shackle that goes around the leaf spring pack to help keep it together really is what it does. And so I'm not referring to the, uh, right at the traffic light. I'm not referring to the shackles or the, the hangers rather. And hopefully the place that I'm heading to right now will be able to address this issue. And I'm actually pulling the trailer right now. So I'm just a couple miles away. Odessa Leaf and Spring on the left. So this is the place up here on my left and I already spoke to them and they explained to me feet arrive at Odessa Leaf and Spring on the left. They explained to me that uh, since they're not super busy or they weren't planning on being very busy today that I could actually bring my trailer. It just the logistics just didn't really work out for me and hopefully they can accommodate me and uh, hey I'm I'm pretty excited to get this thing taken care of because figuring out how to do this stuff on the road is not easy so let's see how this works out I'm gonna go check in with them right now it took a better part of a day an entire day to get the work done they had to take the leaf springs off and then so they put those uh, brackets on that I was referring to and they did a different type of style and I didn't ask I just let them you know do their thing that they know their business and this is probably what should have been on there actually I've I believe this is what should have been on there uh, the first go around. So this is what I'm talking about. Essentially what they did was they gave a little bit of slack for the springs to move around and used a bolt to go across and hold that. Entire bracket in place. And it looks like they found a spot to rivet the bottom to they kind of moved it so they made it work I like it and in addition there's new u-bolts on there so they had to take everything off so when you do that you want to make sure that you replace the u-bolts you don't reuse those u-bolts now the downside to that is I have to retorque those uh, after a while and I don't have a torque wrench so that's good news for me I'm pretty happy. I'm glad I got it taken care of. It's not easy taking care of this stuff when you're on the road, different towns and stuff like that. So yeah, everything kind of fell into place. So I'm gonna close this video out. Thanks for tuning in. I just wanted to keep you guys updated and I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone, bye bye.